Hey guys, Taco Cyclone FPV. We got an uh, uh, RMA to do today. We're uh, doing a support ticket actually for someone who had a hard time connecting their uh, FreeSky X9D Plus uh, to their Mobula 6. So we're going to go ahead and just get started and make this kind of a little tutorial for you guys. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and get this out first. So we're running the uh, uh, X9D Plus 2019 SE. Uh, let me see all that comes in here this guy's got. And then let's grab his Mobula, which is right here. Okay, so the version of the Mobula that he's got is, let me see, this is the FreeSky receiver. Okay, so there is going to be a trick to this, right? And the trick is that, actually, the Mobula receiver should be running, no problem, should be running D16 on here. So we should be okay with that, but we're going to go ahead and do something a little different. Um, first thing we're going to do is let's just go ahead and turn on the radio. Okay. Uh, I assume this means there's no SD card. That's not good. We'd like to have these with SD cards. So that's going to be something that I'm most likely, if I work on a radio, yeah, there's no SD card in here. So we're going to need that most likely. But for right now, let's just see. Uh, he's got an external antenna problem. All right, now let's see if that's going to be, let's see how he does his stuff. Let's go to. Okay, this has an internal XJT uh, with uh, that supports D16, so there's no reason. Let's see if he has any issues here. All right, let's go to menu. Let's go back. 2.3.0. This has not been updated at all. So we're going to have to do everything here. This is going to need some, uh, some work on it. Hey, babe, do you have the um, memory cards there? 16, 16 gig. Uh, you know what? What do I have here? I have one here. Never mind. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to give this gentleman a 16 gig memory card. Okay, he's going to need that. I won't do any radio work without it. So that'll be one thing that he's going to have on his bill. But luckily, they're not expensive. So... But without it, it makes everything just a little bit more of a pain in the butt. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just removing these things. You'd think it's a national security issue here. Sorry, guys, but this thing, Sandisk really put these in like champions here for whatever reason. Layers and layers. Okay. Come on. Okay, that out. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna format this. So let me get the uh, where's my memory card reader? Here it is. We'll take this and put this into the laptop. We're gonna format this so I will actually share the laptop screen with you right now, so you guys can see that work being done. All right, so let's go here, here, and here. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and go to OpenTX. Let me plug this in. All right, and we're gonna format this as well. So we're gonna right click here, go to format, and we're gonna do a, fast a FAT32, uh, and we'll do a quick format, and we're just gonna call this, uh, we'll label it, um, X, uh, X90 uh, P2019. I see. I don't know if that'll work, but hopefully that'll be okay. All right. So let's go ahead and format, say quick, and click start. Okay. That should be done here in just a second. Okay. Uh, Okay, format's complete, excellent. Okay, now what we're gonna do is when we open our uh, OpenTX, we're gonna go ahead and go to our radio profile and it's gonna be the customer X90 Plus 2019, X90 Plus 2019 SE right here, okay? And then I'm just gonna go check my settings, X90 Plus 2019. Uh, let me see if they have, if they've changed anything to where there's an SE option, it doesn't look like it. 
So X90 plus 2019. Right there. We'll just leave it like that. Okay, excellent. Uh, we will leave our Lewis script. Uh, we know Heli Flex 9 RM. Okay. And that should be fine. So everything here is going to be just fine. We'll click OK. OK. All right. Now, we want to go and get our new update. So let's go ahead and get our update for this. We're just going to check for updates. It's going to say we haven't downloaded it. So we want to download it. We're going to click Yes. And we're going to go to our SD card folder. And guys, I know I'm kind of zooming through this. This is not a tutorial on how to do this, by the way. So if you need help doing this, uh, my mouse is kind of going wonky, though. Here we go. Let's go to Desktop. And then we're going to go to our Transmitter folder. And then X90 plus 2019, that's not it. Maybe it's under transmitters. X90 plus 2019, SE. This one, SD card. And we're going to go to firmware, open TX. And this is going to be 2.3.14. Okay. Save that there. It's going to ask if you want to do it. No, we're not going to upload right now. And then we want to go ahead and download the SD card contents. I'm going to turn this radio off, save some power on it. All right, we're going to go to the newest ones right here. That should download here. Hopefully it won't take too long to download these. There it goes. So about 38 seconds it says. That's going to go into here. So while that's doing that, let me go back to our folder here and start cleaning up a few things. So on our desktop under transmitters, uh, 2019 SE, I'm going to delete this one. I don't know why this is even here. No, not that one, this one. Delete this one. Okay. At least we can clean some of this up. So we're going to open this one and let it sit there. Okay, now, let's go over here. Now it says about two minutes left, so we're going to let that run for just a minute. I'm going to check out what's going on over here. What the heck is that? It's like Jurassic Park out here. Great. We're gonna get attacked. Okay, so while we're doing that one, and that's gonna download, um, so we're gonna update the radio, and we're gonna also copy the SD card contents over. Then we'll be able to do all the binding. What I assume here is that the customer must have added this module on the back um, because he's trying to run D8, because D16 is a part of this, but you've gotta do your updates. The other thing is he's running this Flywoo, uh, let me see, uh, let me see, Flywoo, and it's, I don't know, the Firefly, I don't know if that's a D8 or D16, so I'm going to check that out while we're looking at this. Hopefully there's some documentation in here. Mm. Yeah, okay, I don't see anything. All right, let's see how our download's going. Okay, that's still going, and while, we're, while we do that, let's go ahead and go to Free Sky's website. Sure why but all right our downloads done at least so I'm gonna go ahead and get this SD card sorted out <clears throat> I'm gonna do a show and folder should be done here there it is and for free sky what we want to do is we want to go and look at our um, we're gonna to go to our radios here so let's go to our Tarana series Let's go to the X9D Plus 2019 SE. And we're going to go to Downloads. At the same time, we're going to go to Downloads here. I'm going to find that file that we just did. I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to left click on Cut. I'm going to go back to my desktop. Go back to my transmitters right here. 
X90 plus 2018 SE. Here we go. I'm going to paste this right here. You see, we have all these SD card options. I think the computer's running slow. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, let's head over back to FreeSky, and then we want to go to our download. So we have the ISRM uh, update, so we're going to go ahead and take that to 2.1.6. Hmm. Well, we can't do that. Um, because if we do that, then it won't bind, because these are not going to be 2.1, uh, 2. Uh, X compatible. So, I'm thinking we can maybe update the internal and then leave the external to use on this one, but for right now, I think I'll just leave it like this. All right, so let's go here. Here's our SD card. It's already been copied. We're going to extract this right now. So right-click on it, left-click click on Extract All, Extract That. All right, and while that's going, I'm not going to mess with these right now, only because I don't want to change it because neither one of these are going to work. Now, I need to find out. So let me see. On the Flywoo, are we running D8 or D16? Actually, this one's running uh, D16. It's, it's, it's actually got its own, it looks like an XM Plus. So running the XM Plus, uh, we can go ahead and try to bind that one here in just a second, but I'm still going to update this radio. This is moving slow. I think it is my computer. If these bind to the two or 1.1.3, then we will not update the ISRM. That's for sure. Okay. How's it looking? It's almost done. All right. So now that we've got that done, the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to our sounds folder and we're going to select everything but the English folder and click delete. So let's go ahead and delete all that because that is of those 2,000 some odd, that is 1,789 files. So we're going to take that. Now, we're going to take the contents of the SD card, everything but the firmware folder. All right. And we are going to uh, copy. Uh, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me go back here to mine. Here's my SD card folder. So let's take all of these minus this and delete okay and then we're going to go to the new SD card folder which is right here and we're going to take all of these oops minus this one and we're going to cut we're going to go up up and we're going to paste all right, now we've got our new SD card folder right here. And there's our firmware folder, and it's got everything that we need in here, including our new download, which is right here. I need to label this .bin. For some reason, my stuff lately has not been doing that. Okay, click yes. There we go. 
Now what we want to do is we're going to copy everything from here, everything, click copy, and we're going to go to our D drive, and we're going to click paste. There we go. Okay, once that's done, we can eject. So let's go ahead and go to our SD or USB safe eject here. Eject. There it goes. We can take it out. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the memory card. Here we go. Pop that in there. Okay, now we'll put the battery back on, tuck everything away, and close this up. All right, and with that done, now we're going to go ahead and get this ready to update. So you're going to hold your sliders in, press the power button, let go. So it's ready to write the firmware. We're going to take our USB cable. I have one right here. This is the one. I'm going to plug it in. Go back to our computer. Go back to our uh, OpenTX. Okay. And now we're going to go to our write firmware, right? So we're going to write to the radio and we're going to load the one that we want. So make sure we're in the right folder. So we would be in desktop. And then we'd be in transmitters, X9D Plus 2019 SE, and then SD card, firmware, OpenTX, and then it's right here. Click Light One, click Open. Uh, make sure we have hardware compatibility checked, and we're going to write. Okay, click Close. Then we're going to do a, a comparison on a synchronization of the SD card, but I'm going to run a test only. So let me just do a test right now. And I'm going to make sure that we have our file here, select folder. And then for this one, it's XD SD card. So let's go here and find the right thing. There it is. Select folder and click start. And we'll just run a test. Should be no errors. Should be nothing needed to be copied. These should be identical because we just copied it over. Once that's done, we're going to be done with OpenTX. And we're going to jump right over to uh, flashing the bootloader on the radio and then trying to bind. It's taking a little while longer than I expected. All right, so we're going to close that, and now we're going to just go ahead and do a safe disconnect again. All right, and once that's done, we're going to unplug our radio. And here's what you got. Okay, and we're going to just go to our exit. Okay, and we should see the radio start back up unless there's a bootloader issue. So when we see like this, now this has been something that's been happening lately quite a bit. So there's this conflict with the bootloader, and if you do your firmware update, you may end up with a screen like this. And if that's what happens, here's what you're going to want to do. Uh, let me see which way we're going to run this first. I'm going to plug this back in. I'm going to see if the system... Let me disconnect the battery first. Okay, so we need to get the radio shut down completely, right? Because if not, you have this like very faint blue light. So then what you're going to do is you're going to plug the battery in, and let's see, does the blue light come back? All right, let's see if we can start it up. All right, we're not going to get it to start up because we need to go ahead and do the bootloader. So we'll plug this in. And you don't need to power it on. All you need to do is just do this like this. You know how we came up here when it was on and we were going to do our flash? Well, we're going to do the same thing, but this time when we don't have the radio on, it's actually going to flash the bootloader. So I'm going to click the same thing and write to TX. And now it's going to load the bootloader and get started. 
Okay, so give that a second. Now, so basically what's happened is there has been an issue where once you flash the firmware, if you don't get the bootloader done or if the bootloader hasn't been done, then the radio won't start back up. So to, to fix that, just unplug the radio, let it reset itself, plug the battery back in, but don't turn it on. Plug your USB in, and when you go back to OpenTX to flash it, it will now flash the bootloader so that everything will turn back on like normal. So we should be done here in about 37 seconds or so, uh, or something to that effect. We should be able to see this happen, okay? Then we'll test that right now. A lot of people think that that has ruined their system, and it hasn't. It's not, it's, it's, just, it's a brick, yeah, it's, it's a brick, but it's not major by any means. All right, 87, 88, 89. Here we go, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to click close. Now we're going to do another safe eject. Okay, disconnect it. Now, when we come back here, and there you go, you see? It's Welcome not, to Open And now TX. it talks because we have the memory card in there. Throttle warning, switch warning. And that's it. Everything is now running perfect. And it's all you had to do, right? So a lot of people will think, I've bricked it. I don't know what to do. Really just flash the bootloader this way um, and you'll be taken care of, okay? So that hopefully will help a lot of you guys. Um, and, it, you know, I kind of like when these kind of things happen during a video because you can see it's not anything y'all did wrong. This is, happens to all of us who do this tons of times a day. We have these same problems and it's just because there's a software glitch on one hand or another. All right, so now let's get to it. First thing we're going to do, Welcome let, to OpenTX. Let's make sure that Switch we warning. let's make sure that we can start bindings. Let's go to his, um, Firefly, hit page, and let's see what he's got. So he was using X. Uh, no, he's using internal RF ACCST D16. All right, and that's this one right here. So let me just. I think it's going to interfere with our video, so I'm going to try to be very careful not to have our video cut out. But let me see what I can do about that. So he's running a Free Sky XM Plus. All right, so let's just, what I wanna do right now is I just wanna open this up a little bit so I can see if I can get to the VTX and prevent it from interfering with our video. Let me see how they have this done. So we have, let me go ahead and get this on. I'm gonna change the tip of my soldering iron here real quickly. is I'm going to pull that one wire off so we don't power up the VTX and I'll just leave everything like this so we can get onto this XM plus all right and we can get going so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that power lead off right there and we should be good okay all right let me get my old man glasses Needed. Now we'll power this up. Okay. And I think to power it up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, he sent me batteries, but I don't want to use his batteries. I'm just going to use, let me see if I have it here. Yo, 
go. Yes. Gotta find my smoke stopper. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move the. Oh, there's my smoke stopper. Right okay. Put the quad over here. Bring the radio over here. And let's make sure he's running a 3S on there. So I'll give it 12 volts. All right. Let me power this off. Let's get this going. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and this way I can use the switch and I can hold the bind button down at the same time, which makes it easier for me. Let's go ahead and get over here, hold the bind button down, turn it on, make sure we get the solid green light. We have the solid green light right here. So now we're gonna go to our menu page and then we're gonna go to receiver one. Okay, let's click bind. Whoops, my bad, let's click bind. 16 telemetry on. And we see the red light is blinking. So we are now bound. Okay, so we hit exit, exit, exit. Turn this off. It's just that simple, guys. Now we turn it on. Now there is an issue with being too close to the radio, but you'll see we are now, we now have a solid green light. All right, there we go. And that means we're bound, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. Now, that's for this one. So let's get this one, this is success. Now we can go ahead and we'll close it up real quickly. So let me go ahead and solder that wire back on. All right, that's done. Turn that off. Put the ETX back in. Snap the UFL back on. Snap the antenna back on to the UFL connector. There we go. Put the receiver back. There's two, and then there's three. Everything's back together, and this is ready to go. Okay, so uh, that's it. 
Now you got this little plug here for their camera if they want. So this is that. All right, I actually cut the video because something dawned on me real quickly. I want to show you guys one of the issues we're going to have. So I was sitting here thinking that, oh, we, we're going to have, we're going to run the same firmware 1.1.3. 1. 1. The problem is, is I came in here and I saw, I noticed real quickly that the RX module, the internal is running 2.1.0. Well, I know that that's not going to work with this. So now the customer is going to have to use this right on the back. The problem is it's kind of an inconvenient thing. However, if you want to run this, you're going to have to run it at 1.1.3. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use both modules. The only other option would be to downgrade this one, but there's no need to because you'd have to have this, uh, this um, uh, set up in here anyway. However, if you did downgrade this one to 1.1.3, then you could take the module out of the back and put in a long range module. I don't know what the customer wants to do here. So what, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the XM uh, Plus with the newer firmware and I'm gonna come over here to this one and I'm gonna set this model up uh, with the internal, right? So here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to menu. Oops, we're gonna go to menu and go to our module here and then we're gonna turn on the external. So we're gonna turn off the internal go to the external and we're going to set it up for XJT and they say they recommend doing D8 but I'm going to leave it at D16 but whatever we'll do we can do D8 if we want to but if we set it I don't know why it's beeping anyways D16 okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Mobula and we're going to plug it into the computer and we're going to do this through Betaflight because I'm more comfortable using Betaflight I prefer the process using beta flight for binding at this point and i'll explain to you why here so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in okay and then i'm gonna share my computer screen here so you guys can see it and here's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna connect now i've upgraded the firmware here and so the command for this particular one with the firmware we're running is going to be the following you're going to type the following but there's going to be a different step than what they tell you in the manual so i'm going to go i'm going to type bind underscore rx and hit enter it's going to put it in binding mode now i'm going to come over to the radio and i'm going to hit bind and i'm just going to put 16 telemetry on there we go right so right now it's it should be binding okay but now what i want to do is i want to type the following fr uh sky wait hold up sorry set fr sky underscore x underscore let me see rx underscore num and i'm going to hit enter Okay, that's not getting me. It's not showing me that we're binding here. So let me hit exit and then let me take this one off and reconnect it. And let's see if that works. I don't, I can't imagine it's going to. It shouldn't. So let me go connect here and go to receiver. Yeah, so that didn't work. So I'm going to go back and check now and make sure that. It's got no information on this external. There's something going on here because now the external is not working properly. Um, and we're not getting a read on this one. So let me see. This is going to be a firmware issue on the radio. So let me let me do the following. So on the radio, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the web. And we're going to go to Free Sky's website. Okay. okay, then we're going to go to products, modules, 2.4 gigahertz modules, and then we will do the um, XJT. Okay, and it's very important that we make sure that we only have um, the we only have this specific firmware. So here's going to give you 2.1. We don't need that. We need downgrade. So we're going to go to the version here, right, which is right here, not compatible 2.1. So let me go ahead and show that in the folder, and we're going to right click, cut. Actually, we don't need to right click cut. We just need to copy. Sorry. Let me, hit, let me just right click and go copy. Okay, and then we're gonna go to our desktop, our transmitters folder, go to our X90 plus 2019 SE right here, zip files, and we're gonna put this right here. Because we need to get it on our SD card so we can copy. So let me delete that one too, because that shouldn't have been there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and extract. Wait, where did it go? Let me click paste. There it is. 
Let's go ahead and extract this. Next. Okay. All right. And from there, we're going to right click the file floats inside, click cut, go to our X9D, go to our SD card, go to our firmware, and then go to our TX for FreeSky, and we're going to click paste. Okay. Now, because it's running one point, uh, see, we could downgrade here. I'm not going to do that. But because it's running 2.1, I'm going to go ahead and also upgrade the internal module to 2.1.6. Okay. So now that this is done, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to close and we're going to open OpenTX. We'll close beta flight for now. And we'll turn our radio off. Okay. And then we will get ready to plug it in just like this. We're going to wait for our drives to pop up. Okay, let's see, we should be getting close here on this one. There we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to synchronize my SD card. Okay, and I need to change this uh, setting here real quickly because it seems to think. It needs to go here. It's pointing to the wrong folder. It should be pointing to SD card. There we go, select folder. I click, okay, now when I click, to synchronize, I won't have that. Well, I guess I still do, hold on. This one here, select folder. And we're gonna, both directions, come. there you go, start. Now we should see that folder that we just got, there it is right there. So we, we should see that move over. And then we're gonna flash the external, we're gonna reflash the internal, and we should be good to go. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to close. Now we're going to go ahead and exit, or eject the, uh, eject, safely eject, I mean. Okay, there we go. Unplug it. And then let's get back here. Okay, I'm going to go to exit. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, now what we want to do here. Okay, what we want to do here is we're going to go and hit menu. Go to our firmware. Go to the FreeSky firmware, and we're going to first upgrade the, or first flash the um, in, uh, the external module. So there we go. That'll give us the correct version.
Okay, now that's done. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and also flash. Uh, uh, no, we'll leave we'll leave the internal the same because it's already bound. So here's what we're going to do now. So now we should have, and hopefully we're going to. Uh, let's go and check our. I'm still not giving us a reading on that. Um, Let's see if we can get it to bind. I'm gonna try it again now with that firmware. Let's see what happens. So let me plug this in. Okay. Then we'll head back over to Beta flight. All right, uh, so we had a little interruption with the video again, so we're gonna start from here. So now that we've done the firmware upgrade on the radio, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're going to get ready to bind it, okay? So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna plug this in. Wait for that to pick up, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead on over to beta flight, so let me just kind of give you this. Here we go, here's our screen. And let's turn our radio on. All right. Welcome to OPTX. And we're going to click connect. Then we go to our receiver. And here's what we can do. This is really cool. We can click bind receiver right here. Okay. And then you can come over here, go to menu, page, and just click bind. And you can do 16 telemetry on. That's fine. And what will happen is now the red light on the, on the mobula is blinking. So we know we finally are bound. And now we're gonna hit eject. Now, if you get to this point where this thing starts to beep like this, and by the way, you can see now if we move our sticks, we're bound, okay? So let me just get to this part now. So it's beeping, right? Well, here's the reason. The reason being is because there's no LiPo plugged in. Once I plug the battery in, everything stops and we're good to go. So we are now bound. Both radios are bound. I'll let the customer set his channels how he wants, but everything's good to go. And we can see movement on the side there with the stick moving there. So everything's perfect, guys. And that's it. So there you go. That's exactly how we were going to set this up. Receiver so we had, still connected. we had quite a bit of work to do. We had to update the radio. All right. So we had to update the radio. Then we had to. So we did the we did the uh, OpenTX update first, right? And then after the OpenTX update, um, we were able to bind to the uh, the flywheel right here, right? Uh, and then the next thing we had to do is then when we go to doing this one. Because the internal ISRM is at 2.1.x, and we know that the Mobula won't read that, then the D16 on the internal won't work. Now, we could either downgrade the internal to 1.1.3, but not really a need to do that right now. If the customer wants to do it later, that's fine. We can always do that remotely. So what we did then is we, the only other problem was this wasn't going to bind to this one because this had also been changed. So we downgraded this to 1.1.3. So it's internal is 2.1.x. The external is 1.1.3. This one does bind to here and everything works perfect. So they're both bound, guys. Everything's great. If you have any questions about this, you can hit us up at cyclonefpd.com. As always, I just ask that you please support us by subscribing to our channel. I know my kids look for it. I look for it. But my kids get real excited about it, so I'd appreciate it. We're trying to get our numbers up there so we can fight Jake Paul one day. Just kidding. Just totally made that, just totally made that up right now. Um, uh, other than that, if you need any help, also you can find us on, uh, on our Facebook page at uh, facebook.com forward slash cyclonefpd. All right, guys. Listen, God bless. Be safe. Most of all, uh, go spend time with your family. Uh, go make the most of it. You never know how much time you have left, so you can always fly later. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Peace.